we're going to work with algebraic fractions. First we have to simplify them, then we have to multiply and divide them, then we're going to add and subtract them. So I could have to simplify a fraction like this. Now we have this already, but we talked about it as a monomial divided by a monomial. But it's a fraction with a numerator and denominator. So I'm looking for a number that would divide into the 6 and the 8. So 2 into 6 is 3, 2 into 8 is 4. So I'm going to get 3 over 4. It is division. We know to subtract exponents, but now we have a decision to make. I have to put the variable, or the a, wherever the higher exponent is. Because if you remember, a to the fifth means I have five a's in the numerator. I have one a in the denominator. Anything over itself cancels to the whole number one. So I am left with 3a to the fourth over 4. So basically we subtracted exponents and we put our letter or our variable where the higher exponent is. Let's say I have one like this. Um, a to the third over b squared over a to the fourth over b cubed. So now I have to divide I subtract exponents and the variable goes where the higher exponent is. I have a cubed divided by a fourth. It means I have three a's multiplied by itself in the numerator, four in the denominator. So there is going to be one left over, and you all know we did this before in the denominator. I'm going to subtract my b's. I'm going to get b in the denominator. My answer is not a b. We're going to cancel so much that we don't bother putting the ones, but it's really a cubed into a cubed one, a cubed into a fourth a, b squared into b squared one, b squared into b cubed b. So if I have a denominator, it has to stay a denominator. This is a big deal. All right, let's try another one. Let's say I have 20 x to the 7th, y to the 8th, divided by 25, x to the 7th, y squared. I simplify my numbers. So I'm going to have 5 into 24, 5 into 25, 5. So I get my 4 fifths. Now, x to the 7th divided by x to the 7th. I subtract exponents, I get a 0. But if you remember, the x to the 7th divided by x to the 7th, anything divided by itself, cancels to the whole number 1, not the x to 1. So I have no x to the 7th, no x. You should not have an x. I subtract exponents. I don't divide them. In division, we subtract them. So I get y to the 6th. We'll do another one. Let's say I have... 3 divided by 15, a to the 8th, b to the 4th, a squared, b squared. So now, simplify by 3 fifteenths, 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 15, 5. Subtract exponents. Again, remember I don't divide them, I subtract them. I get a to the 6th in the numerator. I subtract exponents. I'm going to get b squared. This time it's in the numerator. We'll do another one. Let's say I have x to the sixth times y to the third over x to the seventh, y to the fifth. So now I subtract exponents. Remember this is going to be a seven. I don't know if that's clear. But I subtract exponents, I'm going to be left with 1x, but it's got to be in the denominator. I subtract exponents, I'm going to have y squared. So is my answer xy squared? No, it's a denominator. Denominator stays a denominator. You have to have 1 over xy squared. We'll do one more. Let's say I have 10 c to the 8th, d to the 5th, divided by 
5, C to the 7th, D to the 3rd. 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 10 is 2. I have a 2 in the numerator. I subtract exponents. I get a C in my numerator. I subtract exponents. I'm going to get a D squared. So now, in this case, this is really over 1, but when anything over 1 is itself. So I don't need the 1. That's it.